Okay, let's make sure everything is okay. Let's check some voltages. Uh, they give you a nice test point for ground right here in the middle. Um, so the voltage coming in uh, is 4.4, so it doesn't droop any more than 4.4, so that um, transistor that we changed seems to be holding up. Let me check some voltage. There's some test points here. This is supposed to be plus 11. There we go, 11. Uh, this is supposed to be minus 7, minus 7. So I think all the voltages are working good, so I'm not worried about the, uh, not worried about the power supply. Now, there's a point here that's the 10 volt reference. This is the super duper 10 volt reference here. I'm not sure what what part they used to generate that 10 volts, but let's check it. Um, so there we go, 9.9999, yeah, okay. So let's see here, let's, um, let's use a six and a half digit voltmeter to calibrate a four and a half digit voltmeter. That sounds like an okay thing to do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let everything warm up. This is made up backwards here. Uh, this re currently right now is measuring 9.9992. Uh, let's get another digit out of this thing, can't I? Over voltage. Oh, that's interesting. I guess I'll have to put it back on five. Huh, what am I doing? I'm doing something wrong. Sorry. One, two, anyway, 9.99992, yeah. So let's let everything warm up and then we'll go through the calibration routine and adjust everything. Let me, um, let me get out the actual uh, service manual so we can go through it step by step. Okay, let's do a check here before we touch anything. Um, so I am gonna be reading the values upside down because that's the way the thing is laid out. Um, and I have uh, 9.996 millivolts going in, 9.995, and my meter up top is bouncing between five and six, so I say, okay, that's in calibration. Let's do uh, 100 millivolts. Um, this is 9995, 9996, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go up to a volt. Now we're at 9995, 9997. That's with the spec. Let's go to 10 volts. Ten point. This is a 9.995. 10.5. That's a bit out. So the 10 volt range seems to me be a bit out. And then let's go to 100 volts and 100.0. That one seems to be spot on, 99956. Yeah, so the 100 volts, it's only the 10 volt range that seems to be a bit funny. Let's go check that one again. 9995, that's fine. That range is fine. Uh, that range is fine. Maybe it's a, con a switch contact. Yeah, it's probably a switch contact thing. So I'll put some uh, deoxid on the switches. So I think that's all within spec. Very, very nice. All right, so uh, let's see here. Let's measure, let's measure ohms then, huh? Um, Yeah, we can measure ohms, then AC. AC is always hard to calibrate in my lab. I don't really have any good AC sources. We, we can use my um, function generator for a quick check. Give that a try. But yeah, let's do ohms next. Contact. 
Okay, so we are going to test ohms now. Uh, I have my DECA box out. This is a 0.05% box, so uh, I'm outputting 1K, 9997, that looks good to me. Um, let's see, 2K, 3K is over scale. Three, four, five, six. So I'd say this thing is within spec. Let's go to 10. Looks good to me. Let's go to uh, 20. Looks good to me. Okay, let's go to 100. Looks good to me. All right, let's go down at low in ohms. Oh, we can go to one, so I can go to two, what meg? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go down to 100 ohms. And 10 ohms. And this is probably some of the resistance in the wire. Yeah, if I, yeah, that's resistance in the wire. I don't have good contacts on the BNCs. There we go. Uh, 20 ohms. Yeah, this thing's fine. Here's 11 ohms. And let's put it on zero ohms, see what kind of offset there is, Point, point 0.1. I think there's a zero adjust in the back that we could do, but one ohm. Yeah, this thing's working fine. I'm not going to calibrate it. It's working fine. Um, and the other thing to do is try to develop some AC volts. So let's see if we can't do that. All right, uh, AC volts. Uh, interesting. Uh, I need to terminate it with 50 ohms. That is correct. Um, uh, I need a 50 ohm termination to make the voltages correct. All right. Should be one volt RMS, 998. Very nice. That's at one kilohertz. Uh, let's go to 10 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, still measuring great. And this thing, I think is specced up to 20 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz. Let's try, let's try, uh, let's try some bigger thing. Here's 60 kilohertz. Yeah, it's moved a little bit. Let's go down to 10 again, 20. 30, 40, yeah, it's working fine. And then let's go down low, let's do 100 hertz. 100 hertz. Yeah, this thing's spot on. This thing's spot on, ship it. <laughs> I guess we need to measure current. So let's do that, let's measure some current. All right, I'm in, outputting a 10 milliamps. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right. And let's do uh, 100 milliamps. Perfect. All right. I'm, I'm convinced this thing's just fine. This thing's just fine. No calibration needed. It checks out great. Certainly within spec of the instrument. Um, yeah. So I think I'll bundle it up. And uh, like I said, I might, I might just give it back.